Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Irma. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and start getting our home decorated for Christmas of the year 2022. And I am extremely excited. So we're going to go ahead and start off here in my kitchen. As you can tell, I'm just wiping down the counter while the open shelf of the cabinets and then the counters because eventually you cannot de decorate on dirt. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. I previously in my last video, if you guys saw that one, I did a more clean while I was undecorating for fall but I'm just going to use my stone care uh, granite cleaner just to go ahead and wipe off all of my granite surfaces since everything is cleared off it's just the perfect time and then I'm going to go ahead and polish since I do have a clear surface on my countertops and I'm just going to use the stone care from also the same brand that is the polish you will notice when I switch from microfiber cloth but I'm just going to go ahead and share the process with you guys in, ch in case you guys are needing any of that motivation or in any ideas on how to polish your, your granite or your quartz so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with that if you see the green container inside the zinc that's actually chicken that's defrosting for tonight's dinner So after I cleaned up all of the surface, now we could go ahead and change to a different microfiber cloth and start adding the polish. Like I mentioned, this is the polish that I use and it's from the brand Stone Care. I buy them off of Amazon. If you guys are looking for these, the Daily Cleaner, I really love it because it leaves your counters not only just super shiny but without any streaks or watermarks. So we're going to go ahead and pour this one on. So all you do is just spray it and then you lightly... Um, rub it in with the cloth just like giving a little massage or something then afterwards you're going to go ahead and go in with another dry microfiber cloth and then once this one dries the polish dries on like a hazy color then with the other microfiber cloth which will be another dry one that you see here i have a blue one in my hand now so all we're going to do is go ahead and quickly buff it in to remove all of that and bring out all of the shine but definitely this is an an amazing arm workout if you guys have never done this it's just Trust me, it's an arm workout, but it's well worth it because it leaves it so shiny and so sleek. At the end, you will see when I throw the blue cloth towards the camera and it slides just so smoothly. So while the countertops are drying after the polish and everything, um, I just like to let it sit a little while before I actually go in and put my decor on there. But I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing the King of Christmas package that I have here, which is actually the garland, two mini trees, and a wreath. And I did get them in flocks so they can match with my King of Christmas, my main tree that I already have up. I shared when I put that one up in last uh, my last video, so if you guys have not seen that one, go ahead and check that out. But this wreath, as you can tell here, it works battery operated, so you can go ahead and set it on a timer as well. I've never ever have ever flocked out a Christmas wreath, so this is actually the first time, so I'm kind of lost of how to fluff up. But we're just going to go ahead and mess around with the branches, move it here and there, and see how it ends up. What I really liked is that it is the same style as my Christmas tree, which my Christmas tree is a queen flocked. So you could tell on these branches tips that it has the same tips as my queen Christmas tree has on there. But definitely this wreath flocking, well, fluffing out this wreath it definitely made a big old mess, like more than I expected that it would be. So it's like, I don't know, my Christmas tree didn't did, do this big of a mess, but apparently the wreath did. And this was even before I even did the mini trees. And still now, while I'm doing this voiceover, I have not even flocked out 
the guard line yet so definitely the wreath is a bit messy but i'm thinking it's probably just gonna be because it's the first time but now i'm gonna go ahead and start fluffing out um, the mini trees which also you can tell if you look closely also has the same branch tips as my original tree that you guys could see over there in the corner but while i'm fluffing this out i'm gonna go ahead and share a product with you guys so if you guys are not new over here to my channel you know i like to switch up my seat covers and this year i'm trying to go very hallmark like a very christmas um, style for our home and I had a company reach out to me to send me these seat covers and well if your seats are kind of ugly or dingy like our bar stools are just a quick easy way is to purchase these seat covers because they're also machine washable and friendly which makes it even more better so further on in the video we're gonna go ahead and set these on here but I just wanted to show with you guys how they looked I just felt they looked it so cute and a little vintage at the same time, which is definitely my style. So yeah, I will leave everything linked down in the description box down below for you guys if you guys are interested. And thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So now let's go ahead and get back to focusing on the Christmas decor here in the kitchen. So I'm going to start off with the open shelf cabinet that I have here. So as you can tell, just for a little lighting and a little um, ambiance of some glow, I went ahead and added this battery operated candle light and then I have this welcome to our winter winter line that I got from the Target dollar spot a couple years ago. And I'm going to go ahead and add some gnomes for this one. I got it last year from the Target dollar spot as well and then we're going to go ahead and top it off with some of these wooden houses that are from the dollar spot and then I'm going to use some mixtures of different style or color of trees and here you can see I'm adding these gold ones with a little flock of white and then this little cookie ceramic jar I got it from Goodwill last year um, and I'm just going to go ahead and display it here with the hot cocoa jar that's pretty much already empty it was actually from last year so there's nothing in there anymore but I just thought the containers were so cute and still like very vintage and still well to save a couple of stuff in there or even refill it up with hot cocoa so I just added that there with some more of the green mini trees and then moving on to the middle shelf so here you can see I put this red lantern and then I have this warm wishes sign that has the berries on there. I really love using berries for our Christmas decor and I got this one from the Dollar Tree last year and then I'm just going to add this little cute ornament that has some small trees and the little white house in there and it's just like a little plastic um, dome that it has over it. And then these red berry planters are from Target um, a couple years back. I'm going to see like three years ago and then this little ceramic houses I actually got these houses from Goodwill um, while we were in Oregon for our summer vacation but they are from the dollar yeah from the Target dollar spot uh, so they I think those came out like towards the summer because they're actually like planters because they have the little hole thing on the bottom but I'm gonna go ahead and use them for our Christmas decor and then I just added the little crystal bell and then this little red slate just for a little pop of color towards the side since it had like a lot of white going on and then moving on to the very top shelf I'm gonna add this sign that I got I believe last year from the 99 cent store so it has two sides I'm just gonna use the side that says this these the season to be jolly and then I'm add this Santa Claus ceramic Santa Claus that I got from my sister and then that's pretty much what we're going to do to this side. And then on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and use another one of those pots with the red berries that are from Target and another little cute red house. And inside the red house, I actually end up just putting a little red and green, um, like a little jars until I could find like more little trees that would fit in there depending on um, the height because it's like since it's inside the cabinet so it wasn't much options then I just topped it off with a little tree and this little red salt shaker and that's how this whole cabinet turned out I really enjoyed the way this looks this year and I did try to make sure that it's visible from all angles including the living room and the kitchen because how it is open um, concept in our home so now moving on to my little wreaths over here I'm gonna try something new last year in the previous years I used to do garland on top of our cabinets so I was planning on putting the king of Christmas garland on top but I'm kind of worried that the flock might fall down when we're cooking or something 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and do something a little bit different. So I'm just gonna use these wreaths up here and just put them on with the push pin on the top. Um, I actually have three of these, so I will add all of those. And if you guys can tell, the microwave is on. Remember I mentioned I had chicken there in there. So I have this Tupperware that is to cook like chicken in the microwave. And I just love it because it cooks it so fast and it just leaves it so pretty easily to shred. So that's what the microwave was cooking over there. But we're gonna go ahead and start working on our bottom, bottom countertops now. And so as you can tell, I'm just quickly wiping them down with the granite cleaner because all of the debris and everything that fell from um, putting up decor and all of that. And then like normal, I always have my KitchenAid over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that back over here. And then I am, like I mentioned, going very, very Christmassy this year. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back in my cutting board it's just the cutting board that i always have here and then this cookie jar i actually got this here from Didi's. i think it was like five or ten dollars um so very inexpensive and then these trees over here i got them from target dollar spot after christmas so they were like a dollar each i believe so i got a couple of those and i'm just gonna place it here and then here's another one of those hot cocoa containers these were actually from cbs last year like i mentioned before they are empty and then i'm just gonna add this little um red pitcher and then put some of my measuring spoons inside there since it's pretty much baking season so it could be close up and finish it off with this cute little glass ornament and then we're going to go ahead and move back on to the KitchenAid. I added my mixing bowls in there and then I have this cute red towel that says Merry and Bright. And I just went ahead and let it hang out from the mixing bowls. And then I'm going to use the seagrass basket that I normally just keep my rolling pins in there. I'm going to add for a pop of color this red one that I have here that Jayla is the one who mostly uses that one. And then for a little bit of greenery and height towards this side, I'm just going to finish it off with these Christmas trees that I have here. Now moving on to the other side of the stove, I'm going to once again quickly wipe off using the granite cleaner. And then I put a basket here with my Alexa inside because I like to have it on this side. But I'm going to start with the decor and I like this sign that looks very vintage with this Santa right here that I actually got from Dollar Tree last year. So I'm just going to lean it against the wall here and then after that I have this other green container. I believe I got this one from my sister. There's actually two green ones and a red one that I have. So you will see more of these containers in my video. So it has one side that has this angel on here. And then the other side is just a solid color. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right here. So I was planning on putting it with the angel facing this way. But I kind of felt like it was crashing too much with my Santa on the side. So I went ahead and just flipped it around instead. And just left it with the solid um, darker green color that it has there. Then in the basket I'm going to hang out one of these tea towels as well. Um, so this one is just a little black, red, and white checker one. Then I have these hot cocoa containers that are from CVS also last year. And I just placed it here with the little holder that it has, which is a metal holder. And I think it just looks so cute over here. So that's how that part is turning off. And then I have more of those little treats. I wanted to display it inside here. But I thought it was just too much green going on right there. And if I was to change it for the red one, then it would have been like too much red in that area. So I just went ahead and slide the tray over a little bit put it over in the corner and then just ended up using this little metal basket to hold my wooden spoons which I normally have on my countertop and in a crock so it just worked out perfect and then on top of my Alexa for a little hiding it I'm going to add one of those gnomes that I used in our open cabinet as well and that's pretty much all I'm using for some Christmas decor on here. But since my kitchen is still a lived-in and cooking kitchen, I went ahead and bring in my oil bottle containers and then of course my crock pot that I just love displaying on top of the stove. And then we're going to go ahead to move in on down to my stove top. So I have to wipe down my front of the door of the oven door because I noticed it had a little bit of um, like a food dripped and then like handprints and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly wipe that down. 
And then for the towels that I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna use three of them, but I'm gonna keep it on the very neutral side. So the white ones, I actually got those from Target Dollar Spot last year, and the green one. On the other side, it has like a leaf on there, but it doesn't scream Christmas to me, so I just kept it on the green neutral side. But I just went ahead and added those three there just for a little fun over there and call your eye to the bottom and then on the little hook that I have here I always hang up a towel but just so it won't be so white and I didn't have another tea towel that I found I liked that would look here so I just went ahead and kept the white towel and then just hang this little ornament um, a wooden ornament like a nutcracker over here and that is how this side of the kitchen is turning out so I just want to say thank you so much for those who clicked on today's video. I really appreciate it. If you guys are a returning subscriber or a new one, thank you so much. It means so much to me and I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. So that side of the kitchen is pretty much already done. I think I am loving it a whole lot more. Let me know what you think. But on the other side of our kitchen where the refrigerator is at, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I, you can tell I put this round wooden tray that I have here. And then I'm going to put this metal kickstand on top to kind of make it like a tier tray but a little bit different style. And we're going to go ahead and start styling the bottom part. So I'm just going to use this red gnome that I got a couple years back from the Dollar Tree and just kind of like shove it in there and fold this hat since it was a little too tall but it still fit perfectly fine and then I'm going to use this little tea ceramic um, container I have here and then I wanted to put a little sign here like this one but it wasn't fitting so I just went ahead and switched it out for this ceramic nutcracker that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year and another one of those gnomes and just place it on the side and then for the jar I'm going to fill it up with just a couple of the candy canes that we have here and that's pretty much all that I'm doing here for this bottom part until I can finish decorating the top part and then we're going to bring in some greenery. So moving on to the top part we're going to go ahead and bring another one of those trees you saw me put on the seagrass basket on the other side which I actually got those from my neighbor so thank you so much to my neighbor. And then these Santa mugs I believe I got them last year or two years ago from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I remember I got two of those and then here is another one of the ceramic ones and um, the little nutcrackers those were from the Target Dollar Store like I mentioned before and I know they had a green ones and I believe red ones as well but I just went ahead and picked up two of the white ones and then I eventually I was able to put the sign here and then the little gold tree so it sticks out a little bit more I actually just put a little bit of um, of a napkin like bundled up inside the cup to give it a little bit of height so when I put the gold tree it sticked out because they're also kind of got lost and then i'm just going to finish it up with some more of the wooden houses that we used in our open cabinet and then for my greenery since i didn't purchase any new greenery i'm just going to use whatever i had i'm going to go ahead and just add some eucalyptus stems and then these mini little christmas trees that are also from the dollar spot but that is how that is turning up on the top part i just love the way this whole um tear tray style turned out this year for me but let me know what you guys think here on the bottom part i'm also adding a couple more eucalyptus stems and then at the end i'm gonna add a little red slate just for a little extra pop of color so the bottom part of the tray i know it seems a little bit small but i was just working with what i have but if i was to interrupt into a bigger one i definitely will change it out so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you guys can see when i upload my Christmas home tour um, after I'm done decorating because I always end up switching things up here and there it doesn't always stay as you guys see in the video so if you guys would like to see how our home turns out by the end of all of my decorating videos don't forget to click that subscribe button I'm also planning that to look for my twinkle lights because I know I have some and just add a little bit of the string of the twinkle lights in here which just give it a whole much better view look and glow at especially at the nighttime but we're going to go ahead and move down to the bottom part where this cabinet is at. I have this rack here and I'm just going to add this basket that I normally have here. And I always have a tea towel hanging from here too. So what I'm going to use is just this gingerbread recipe one. I've had it. I got it from Dollar Tree and I've had it for so many years. And I'm just going to use these frosted stems here um, and just fix them to look really nice. And once I get into my bag that has all of my berries, 
I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple berries here and my cake stand and other parts of my kitchen but until I get that bag of berries out from my containers for now this is what it's looking like so we're gonna go ahead and quickly take the broom and broom our floors JLo is actually not feeling good on this day she was running a slight fever and had a really big um, headache and she was asleep on the sofa so I didn't want to turn on the vacuum to disturb her sleep since she was resting so nicely so I just went ahead and grabbed the broom and quickly swept it up our floors are dark and you probably think you cannot see the trash that it has but trust me there's always so much um, debris dust food everything on the floor so then after that I just went ahead and took my spray bottle that has a little bit of pine salt in there and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly mop my floors because I want to go ahead and switch out the brown rug that I previously had here for a more Christmas rug so once the floors are done drying I'm gonna go ahead and place it out so this rug is really cute I also have it linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in it they also come in a green color this is a two feet by six feet rug um, but one thing is that it is very hard because it doesn't have any of that like foam or anything so you could just go ahead and purchase like a foam um, thing that you guys buy at Walmart that go on the bottom and it just helps it to be a non-slip because the sun actually still slips and moves out of the way but I didn't have it so I didn't do that at the moment uh, but like I mentioned before we had new seat covers so I just quickly removed the ones we had and you guys know applying these seat covers to our seats is just so easy it's pretty much like putting on a t-shirt over the, over the seat uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do all of those and you guys could just see the big old difference it gives. I just love the design. Once again, they do have multiple designs if you guys are interested in these or if you guys do not like the Christmas ones. I know on Amazon you can always find the regular, more neutral ones and so on. But this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. In my next video, I'll be decorating my living room and the Christmas tree. So if you guys would like to see more of my Christmas decor, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a like. And I am so extremely excited and happy on how the way our kitchen turned out. I just feel all of the fun Christmas festival vibes and I just feel it looks so Hallmark style. But I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys!